The Sea of Cortez is the tranquil body of water located between the mainland of Mexico and the Baja Peninsula. Getting to the Hotel Buena Vista Resort from New York was easy, with early morning flights from the New York metro area that had us relaxing by the pool early in the afternoon. Meals are served on the terrace, overlooking the spectacular waterfront view. The accommodations are air-conditioned and spacious, and many of the units overlook the water. Breakfast is available as early as 6 a.m. and is a great way to start the day with your fellow anglers before heading out on the water. As the sun rises above the horizon revealing the glass calm seas, it's time to grab your gear and make your way down to the dock. There are a few types of fishing boats to choose from depending on the number of anglers in your party and your targeted species. The dock master assigns a captain and boat for you during your stay and also packs the cooler with your meals, drinks and ice. We left the dock on a panga. These boats are popular throughout the Pacific for being seaworthy and efficient. Our first stop was to fill our live well with bait. The easiest and fastest way to do this is to support the local economy and buy bait from local fishermen. For about $10, you get a day's supply of live bait. A short distance from the lodge, just off the shore, is one of the few places in the world Humboldt squid can be found in great numbers. Many anglers choose to make a stop in the morning to battle these creatures of the deep. These squid can grow over 100 pounds and are responsible for more fishermen's deaths than sharks, according to locals. The Sea of Cortez is well known for its sport fishing diversity and calm seas. In no time at all, we were in the sailfish grounds where our captain set out the lines to troll. We trolled for about 30 minutes when the captain noticed a large pot of dolphin about a mile up ahead. We quickly pulled in the lines and ran up to the feeding frenzy. Within seconds of setting up our spread near the dolphin, there was the sound of a screaming reel. The captain got in on the action and pitched out a live bait to the frenzy of feeding tuna. As soon as the bait hit the water, the tuna engulfed it and the fight was on. After fighting tuna until our arms were sore, we headed back to shore in search of the ultimate shallow water game fish, the rooster fish. These shallow water speedsters are great on light tackle and grow to 100 pounds or more. After a great day out on the water, it was time to relax in the pool at the swim up bar and enjoy one of Ricardo's frozen cocktails. The Hotel Buena Vista is a family run resort. I had the chance to speak to Axel Valdez to find out why this part of Mexico is so special. We are in the East Cape uh, region of Los Cabos, which is uh, in Los Cabos County, but 45 minutes north away from town um, of Los Cabos. 
Uh, it's a beautiful area, very nice, relaxing, completely different of what Cabo San Lucas is. Uh, it's more of a laid back, relaxed uh, style uh, of vacation. Uh, a lot of activities during the day, uh, besides the fishing, which is our, our main uh, sport, we also have diving, we have excellent uh, snorkeling tours, eco tours, we have uh, cultural tours. But definitely the fishing is what uh, put us in the map. If you're looking for a fishing destination with an incredible amount of diversity and plenty to do for the whole family, then the Hotel Buena Vista is a great choice. From the East Cape of Baja, California, I'm Tim C. Smith for SkimmerOutdoors.com.